Hi. The Jewish bar mitzvah is the coming of age at age 13 of a Jewish boy to the age of accountability with or without a ceremony. First, let's consider the definition of bar mitzvah in historical background. Bar mitzvah means son of the commandment. Bar means son in Aramaic. Mitzvah means commandment in Hebrew. The bar mitzvah originated in the Middle East from about 500 BC. The ceremony ritual did not develop until the Middle Ages, about 1200 AD. With or without a ceremony, a Jewish boy, 13 years of age, automatically becomes a bar mitzvah. Next, let's consider the bar mitzvah rights and responsibilities. Because there are observant and non-observant Jews, I am not delving into ceremonial observance, but the coming of age elements. The bar mitzvah has reached the age of moral and ethical accountability. The bar mitzvah has the right to participate in leading a religious service. A bar mitzvah can sign a contract and testify in a court proceeding. Technically, a bar mitzvah can marry, though ancient and contemporary recommendation is 16 to 18 years of age at the earliest for marriage. The normal is 13 for accountability, 18 for marriage, and 20 for earning a living. The next point I'd like to make, the bar mitzvah is an approach to social maturity. Culturally speaking, the present condition of young non-Jewish adolescent men is an unclear transition to maturity. I've been involved in leadership over the years, and it's, there's a lot of confusion today, culturally, a young, among young adolescent males about what is being a man and about stepping up to discovering their gifts, motivation, and accountability to move forward with their lives. This is a real issue. It contrasts, however, with the, the bar mitzvah in the Jewish community, conveying a formal acknowledgement of growth, individual sense of transition, a vantage perspective, and ceremonial recognition on developing manhood. I have some terrific Jewish friends. I've known uh, young and old, and it's amazing because of the sense of responsibility and manhood initiation, if you will, and that is understood, ceremonial or, ceremonially or not, implicitly understood in these, in these young men, what they, their culture, their sensibility of who they are, their gifting, a traditional linking with that in their sense of, in their sense of who they are, in the larger community, their gifts and calling. It's, a, it's astounding the motivation and the achievement that this can, that, and service that this engenders in these young men and how it carries over well into old age. A dear friend of mine, Jim Feibel, an attorney, he's been practicing law since 1957. And it's just amazing the outgrowth of that character in who and what he is in his 80s, in a lifetime of tradition. I was privileged to have known his father as well. He died 30 years ago. And just a remarkable family. It's amazing the things that these people do in service to others. Jim and his wife have raised over 80 foster children in their home over the years. This, this sense of accountability and tradition and service is profound and reflective in this, in this bar mitzvah tradition. The wealth of symbolism the bar mitzvah rite of passage confers on a Jewish boy is a ritual recognition of his growth toward maturity. His real status does not come at once, but in portent and promise, giving the young man a sense of social mobility he seeks. It is a consensual transition and recognition. It makes a profound impression on a growing young man, ensuring him of eventual advancement and self-definition. Bar mitzvah helps a young man maintain perspective and focus 
on life direction and relating to others more meaningfully. Thank you for listening.